Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech, and I'm here today, guys. You're probably wondering what, what is this? What, what, what am I looking at here? <laughs> well, uh, you're looking at a life preserver, life saver, sorry, and uh, there's probably a reason why you're looking at that. That's because of where I am right now. Check it out. <laughs> I am here on the waterfront at Quarry Bay Park in Hong Kong. It's a beautiful day. And I thought it'd be a great day to do a quick camera comparison between these two phones I've been testing, guys. Let's put them up here real quick. <laughs> here is the Mi Max 3 right there. And the Redmi Note 5. As you can see there, obviously with the glare of the sun, <laughs> It's kind of hard to see them there. There it is. But I'm ready to test these two phones out. Look how beautiful this phone looks in the sunlight. And this is gonna be my daytime camera test here of these two phones. So let's uh, do some shots with these two and some video and let's see how it turns out. So let's have a look. Front facing video on the Mi Max 3. It's a lot of uh, overexposure. It's a very bright day today, but I think it looks pretty good overall. Good stability while I'm walking. Pretty good. And this is front facing video on the Redmi Note 5. And you can see there, similar kind of similar kind of look. I think the stabilization though is a bit better on this phone. I don't know how to pinpoint it, but it is a different different front facing sensor on this phone. So that may be why I'm seeing that. And here is rear facing video on the Mi Max 3, shot in uh, full HD, 1080p. Stabilization is good. And yeah, it's gonna be hard to get bad footage on a day like this. Absolutely gorgeous. And here's rear-facing video on the Redmi Note 5. You can 
see it there. Amazing shot. Really good stabilization. Overall, a solid shot. And here I am in a pretty loud spot right over the highway on the Mi Max 3, testing out the microphones. It's pretty loud overall, right here on the Mi Max 3. And here's the same shot on the Redmi Note 5. Shooting against the sun here, so pardon for that. But just to test the mics here, pretty loud on the Redmi Note 5. So what'd you guys think? Did you think the Mi Max 3 kind of ran away with it? Or did the Redmi Note 5 uh, kind of uh, really get close in the, uh, the daylight camera test here? I think honestly, guys, the, the overall kind of results here show that <laughs> these two sensors are pretty much identical, the two rear sensors at least, and uh, the results really showed a really great quality of, of images in daylight here between these two phones. Uh, the front camera is the one that's really interesting me here because the Samsung, uh, the Mi Max 3 is running a Samsung sensor here while the uh, Redmi Note 5 is an Omnivision sensor. So I'll have to go in more depth um, to test these out. And remember guys, this is just my daylight camera comparison here. I'll be doing a very similar format here for the nighttime uh, camera shots and a camera, nighttime camera edition a video that I'll be coming out with very soon. But just wanted to get this one out to you guys. If you like this video, give me that thumbs up there. And if you uh, appreciate the content I've been doing uh, with the tests on the Mi Max 3 uh, and versus other phones, definitely hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned uh, for more videos coming up soon, guys. And uh, I guess this is where I'll leave you for now. Uh, and leave any comments or questions, once again, in the uh, comment section uh, with your thoughts, which one you think did better there. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. This is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one.